The thrill of snagging a property at a discounted price sounds fantastic. In theory, the truth about buying a foreclosed home is something every potential buyer needs to know. It's tempting, right? The thrill, the excitement of snagging a property at discounted price sounds fantastic. But throughout the last 22 years, I've had countless buyers eagerly tell me, I want to buy a foreclosure. And my response is always the same. Why? Why exactly do you want to buy a foreclosure? And the answer is almost always because I can get it at a discount. Sounds like a deal. It's such a great deal. It's true that foreclosures often come with a lower price tag, but reality is that this discount can sometimes come with hidden costs that you need to be prepared for or believe me, you can lose your shirt. In this video, I'm answering the question, should I buy a foreclosure for my first home? We will discuss what exactly is a foreclosure. We really have to talk about that. The timelines and processes involved to buy and close the deal, the advantages and disadvantages of buying a foreclosure, the key steps to take if you're considering buying a foreclosed home, and of course, real life insights and tips from my 22 years of experience. This is golden, so stay tuned to get to the full picture and make an informed decision. And take this moment to hit that subscribe button and let's jump into why buyers that buy a foreclosure actually buy. Yes, buying a foreclosure can be appealing because of the lower purchase price. The foreclosed homes are typically sold by banks or lenders eager to recover the remaining mortgage balance owed by the previous owner, but they often price below market value to ensure a quick sale. For example, if similar homes in the neighborhood are selling for $700,000, a foreclosure in the same area might be listed for $650,000 providing an opportunity for significant savings. And what is a foreclosure? Let's find the gold within the gravel. My goal is to help you understand what a foreclosure is so you can make an informed decision. It's really important to understand how a property even gets to this point and the difference between a foreclosure, a short sale, a bank owned REO, and I have details video on my channel explaining these concepts if you're interested in learning more, it's really a must watch content. The link is up here and you will find it in the description below as well. A foreclosure is a general term with different scenarios, but today we're actually talking about a foreclosure where the homeowner has been evicted. The bank is now the property owner and they are selling it as a bank owned REO or foreclosure. Cool. So let's look at the timeline. Timelines are crucial in understanding the foreclosure process. Let's say a homeowner stops paying their mortgage. After three months of missed payments, you know what happens? The bank begins the foreclosure process. Fast forward, once the foreclosure process is complete, and if the homeowner did not utilize other available options, the bank will be granted the deed to the home. The bank then will go through the eviction process and become the property owner. Just so you know, I recently posted a video about the foreclosure process in New York. To better understand the entire process, please be sure to also watch this video as well. From this point is often taking about six months for the bank to list the property for sale with a real estate broker. During this time, the house deteriorates because nobody's taking care of it. Sometimes servicing companies might board it up or winterize it, but often by the time this is done, there's already significant damage like roof leaks and water damage, which can cause extensive internal damage to the plumbing, flooring, cracked foundation, and even mold. Ugh. You might be wondering what happens to the house. Most of the time, homeowners facing foreclosure, knowing they're going to lose the house, may actually damage the property themselves intentionally. They might strip the plumbing, rip up walls, and destroy electrical wiring. By the time the bank lists the property for sale, it could be in a significantly worse condition than when the foreclosure process began. This deterioration 
can continue even after the bank takes ownership, resulting in further damage. With all of the details I just shared with you, there are also advantages of buying a foreclosure. There's the lower purchase price. As mentioned, foreclosures are often sold below market value, allowing you to buy a home you might not otherwise afford. Some foreclosures are being offered in moving condition and there are some foreclosures that are being offered by HUD and HUD prefers to sell it to an end user, especially they prefer to sell it to a first time home buyer. Now to the equity potential. Buying below market value can result in instant equity. For example, if you buy a foreclosure for $600,000 and it's market value after repair is $700,000, you actually have $50,000 to $100,000 in equity, minus the repairs, of course. So let's look into the investment opportunity. Foreclosures can be great for investors looking to renovate and resell or actually rent out the property. Potentially, generating income, right? So, but these guys and gals are your biggest competition. They are hungry and they come with full cash and a construction crew. Don't be discouraged. Just be aware of your competition. It's good to know. We can't ignore the disadvantages of buying a foreclosure. We must also talk about the property condition. Foreclosed homes are sold as is, which means they may require significant repairs for example, a foreclosure might have issues such as a leaky roof, broken plumbing, or outdated electrical systems. It is crucial to obtain highly competent professionals to evaluate these items before you buy a foreclosure. We cannot forget the hidden costs associating with buying a foreclosure home. Besides repairs, there might be additional costs such as unpaid property taxes or liens. You might buy a foreclosure for $580,000 only to discover that there's $20,000 in unpaid property taxes and $8,000 in HOA fees, increasing your total out-of-pocket unforeseen and not planned on expenses. Moving on to a complex buying process. The process of purchasing a foreclosure can be more complex than a traditional home sale involving auctions, bidding wars, and extensive paperwork, especially when it comes to timelines, specific and non-traditional provisions within the contract, and losing your initial escrow deposit is more likely when buying a foreclosed home. If you're still here and you're paying attention, let's look at the steps to take when considering a foreclosure. The first one is research and preparation. Educate yourself about the foreclosure market, like subscribing to my channel, for example, and the process involved and the associated risks buying a foreclosed home. This knowledge helps you make informed decision and avoid as many mistakes as you can. Work at a professional, hire experts like real estate agents specializing in foreclosures, home inspectors, and real estate attorneys. Their expertise can help navigate the complexities and ensure legal and financial safeguards. Getting pre-approved for financing is also very important to successfully buy a foreclosed home. Securing financing in advance to give yourself a competitive edge and clarity on your budget. Conducting a thorough inspection, even though foreclosures are sold as is, a detailed inspection reveals the true condition of the property and helps estimate repair costs. I must remind you that even a detailed inspection may miss potential issues that cannot be seen. So evaluate the neighborhood also and assess the neighborhood to ensure it meets your needs and has potential for appreciation. It's really important to understand the local real estate market trends and the market analysis for the specific house you are considering to buy. Know the process of buying a foreclosed home. When buying a foreclosure, you typically go through the same process as with any other property. However, the utilities are often off. This is making it hard to check for plumbing, electrical systems, and other critical features. Most of the time, you might not know the full extent of the repair needed until after the purchase. And so leaving money aside for unexpected repairs is important and in my opinion, absolutely necessary. Don't take this advice lightly. And now words of caution. 
These days, banks often put foreclosed properties on the web auctions without making any representations. They aim to not only recoup the loan, but potentially make a profit. Unlike in the past when they were just trying to recover the losses. Sometimes properties are sold with occupants still in them, adding another layer of complexity. Buying a foreclosed home can be a great opportunity if you are willing to take the risk and do your homework. It's crucial to work with a professional who can assist and guide you, especially if you are not experienced in this. Ensure you know what you're getting into so you don't end up overpaying in the long run and creating a headache for yourself. Oh boy, if you have any questions, or need guidance, please leave a comment below or email me directly. I'm here to help educate and assist my community. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends. See you in the next video.